Hey guys, today I just want to go over a couple of things as far as what a lot of my customers keep asking is, should I update my computer to a solid state hard drive? Uh, now going with old traditional drives, of course, systems are running extremely slow with specific programs that they're trying to run or even software they're upgrading. So the way to prevent that is installing a solid state drive. So I'm sure a lot of you already heard about what a solid state drive does. So a lot more lighter, the form factor is a two and a half inch and it's a SATA connector as well. A, a solid state drive is NAND based flash uh, memory and it's using flash memory modules that are actually in the system that use memory chip access data, which is almost instant to instantly. It's a type of non-volatile memory that remains even with no power. So if you turn your computer off, the information is still stored locally on the actual memory modules. And the way these memory modules are actually encoded into the actual drive, it's not a hard, like a hard drive, a standard uh, hard disk that uses uh, read and write sectors and magnetic disks that are actually storing the information on your hard drive. With a solid state drive, you're basically, it's, it creates this information, what we call uh, blocks and also pages. So the pages are, are created first onto the, the drive, into these extra memory modules. Then these pages go, are put into blocks. Then these blocks are then put into plane. So there's, between all of this transition, this is where all your data is being stored to on that chip. Now the good, the good stuff about a solid state drive is there's many factors. Uh, of course, number one is speed. speed. That's the most reason why we people upgrade all of our computers to solid state drives is for speed and reliability. Uh, these drives last a lot longer. The energy efficiency, these being put into actual laptop drives, they're gonna make the, the systems run a lot more uh, longer with the battery uh, uh, instead, you know, instead of having a disc that's running all the time using magnetics. Uh, also, the quietness. Uh, they're very, very quiet. You, can, you generally should never hear a, a peep coming out of them. If you do, that's definitely replace your drive. And then also, too, the other thing is, is the overall improvement of the performance of your system. Your system is going to be night and day when you have one of these installed in there. Loading up your operating system, loading up an application, uh, like if you're using like a Photoshop software or video editing software, for example, like the one I use, you, you click on it, it opens up almost instantly. But of course, you know, you need to correlate your current specs that you have in your system as far as your CPU, uh, GPU, and RAM. But Today I just wanted to go over solid states with you because I know we get a lot of questions about that. And just like just to kind of let you know, hard drive speeds compared to solid states, I mean a hard drive is about 30 to 150 megabits per second. Whereas a standard solid state drive can be all up to 550 to 500. So that's quite a big uh, jump just to know just to uh, figure out the speeds coming from a standard hard drive to a regular SSD. And now after SSDs, now you have your M.2s and NVMEs, but that's a whole nother discussion we'll go over later on. But I just want to go over what the, pro or the process of you getting a solid state drive would be. Have a great day, guys.